July 1, 2025. A routine sky survey in Chile. NASA's confidence shattered overnight when Dr. Elena Moretti flagged a distant object on a path never seen before. 3. I slash Atlas. The third ever interstellar visitor. At first, it was just a cosmic curiosity. Then came the impossible. Atlas began to shift course, drifting off prediction with Delta V spikes no comet could explain. By August 7th, a secure server alert locked NASA's control rooms in silent panic. This was no ordinary comet, and its target looked like Mars. What could drive an object from another star to behave as if it had a mind of its own? The answer may be more terrifying than anyone at NASA will admit. At 2.14 a.m. local time on July 1, 2025, the Atlas Telescope Array in Rio Hurtado, Chile, swept its gaze across a patch of sky most astronomers would call empty. Dr. Enente Ram, Dr. Elena Moretti, a veteran of near-Earth object hunts, watched as the software flagged a faint, fast-moving speck. The numbers didn't fit. The object was moving too quickly, tracing a hyperbolic arc that screamed of an origin far beyond our solar system. Within hours, observatories from Hawaii to South Africa confirmed it. An interstellar traveler, only the third ever recorded, and now officially designated 3I slash Atlas. Word rippled through the astronomical community. For decades, researchers had dreamed of finding more messengers from the galaxy's distant past, remnants from the era when stars and planets first formed. 3I slash Atlas, with its ancient, untouched chemistry, could hold secrets about the birth of the Milky Way. Initial projections suggested a harmless flyby, a cosmic tourist passing tens of millions of miles from any planet. NASA and the European Space Agency released statements brimming with excitement. For a brief moment, awe eclipsed anxiety. Dr. E, Dr. Moretti's name appeared in headlines worldwide, celebrated as the discoverer of a once-in-a-generation find. But behind the scenes, the discovery triggered a flurry of activity. The global network of telescopes began continuous tracking. Every new data point fed into supercomputers, refining predictions, searching for any hint of danger. The world's eyes were now locked on a visitor from another star, racing through the solar system at nearly 54 kilometers per second. A scientific marvel, yes, but also a wild card, unlike anything humanity had seen before. By late July, the mood inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory had shifted from celebration to unease. The numbers coming out of the Harvard Orbital Dynamics Group refused to settle. Every time the computers ran a new simulation, the projected course of Triani slash Atlas crept closer to Mars, not by millions of miles, but by measurable, alarming steps. What should have been a routine flyby was becoming something else entirely. Analysts pored over Delta V calculations, searching for any explanation. Natural comets wander, but they don't target. Yet the latest residuals, the tiny differences between predicted and observed positions, kept stacking up. It was as if something was nudging the object, over and over, always in the same direction. Each course update shrank the missed distance by another 100,000 kilometers. Within days, the safe margin had melted away. On August 7th, a secure server alert sounded in mission control. The system flagged a pattern. Persistent, non-gravitational accelerations, impossible to explain with solar heating or random jets. A red flag. The object was no longer just passing through, its path was tightening, zeroing in on Mars's orbital plane. The room went quiet. Behind closed doors, NASA controllers initiated an internal lockdown on trajectory data. Only a handful of senior analysts and mission leads had access to the latest projections. Official statements stayed calm, but inside, a quiet panic took hold. The world's best minds were watching the numbers, and the numbers were moving the wrong way. August 12, 2025. Inside the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter Control Room, Marcus Alvarez stared at a live telemetry stream that seemed to defy every rule in the book. The data showed carbon dioxide jets erupting from 3Y-Atlas. 
not in random bursts, but in strict 17-minute cycles. Each pulse nudged the object ever so slightly toward a more precise alignment with Mars's orbit. It was a pattern too regular, too disciplined for nature. On his screen, the intervals ticked by like clockwork. 17 minutes, another jet, another course correction, then again and again. Natural comets vent gas when sunlight heats their surface, but those outbursts are messy, driven by chaos, not choreography. Here, the jets fired in perfect sequence, always angled to fine tune the trajectory. Alvarez watched as the orbital prediction software updated in real time, the projected path of 3Y slash Atlas tightening with every pulse. The team logged each event, cross-referencing with data from the Deep Space Network and the European Space Agency's Mars Express. There was no drift, no deviation, just a mechanical beat, repeating over and over, as if the object was following instructions. Alvarez's hands hovered over the keyboard, capturing the moment in the mission log. Heartbeat, outgassing, 17-minute cycle, synchronized with course tweaks. He couldn't shake the feeling that this was not just outgassing, but propulsion, a deliberate act. The room fell silent after the sixth pulse. The numbers on the screen spoke for themselves. Something out there was steering this interstellar visitor, and it was doing so with machine-like precision. August 15, 2025. The European Space Agency's Tira radar. Perched on a hillside in Germany, locked onto 3 Psi slash Atlas for a full six-hour sweep. The data stunned even veteran operators. The radar return wasn't soft or scattered, no sign of the usual fluffy ice or dust that marks a comet. Instead, the signal bounced back hard and bright, like a spotlight off polished steel. Analysts ran the numbers twice, then a third time. The object was immense. 1,300 feet across, with a mass close to 10 billion tons. That's more than 270 Empire State Buildings packed into a single, spinning bullet. At the same time, the newly rebuilt Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico pulsed its upgraded transmitter, slicing through millions of miles of empty space. The echo came back dense, metallic, and uniform. No significant trace of rock, no icy core, just a monolithic slab of something that shouldn't exist in nature. The U.S. Space Force's orbital trackers flagged the same readings. The albedo, its reflectivity, matched industrial alloys, not cosmic rubble. A red flag for every planetary defense analyst in the world. But the true shock came from the formation. Tira's range Doppler plots and Arecibo's time-lapse radar images revealed three smaller objects, each perfectly spaced at the points of a triangle, moving in flawless lockstep with 3Y slash Atlas. Their separation never varied, even as the main body fired its jets. No comet in recorded history has ever shed fragments in such a disciplined, geometric pattern. The data left no room for coincidence. This was a convoy, not a random swarm. The implications landed like a punch, if the main object was being steered, then the escorts were its sentinels, its drones, or something even stranger. In an instant, the story snapped from scientific puzzle to global security crisis. Phones rang in government offices from Washington to Beijing. The world's most powerful agencies were now staring down a metallic formation from another star, and nobody could say what would happen next. September 2nd, 2025. The world's space agencies gathered on a secure line, each leader framed by the glow of classified screens. NASA's director called the meeting to order, Project Catapult. The agenda was simple, but the stakes were anything but. On one side, voices from the European Space Agency and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency urged patience, demanding more observation time, more data. Across the table, Roscosmos and the China National Space Administration pressed for action, floating the possibility of an intercept mission, even a preemptive strike. Some argued that any move could be seen as a challenge. If this was a probe and not a comet, 
Would it notice? Would it answer? The debate spiraled, tempers flared, and every scenario led back to the same question. Do nothing and risk disaster, or act and risk war with something unknown. No consensus. The only certainty, no one could guarantee what 3 us i slash atlas would do next. As of this morning, the latest forecast puts 3i slash Atlas just 1.2 million miles from Mars. That's five times closer than the Moon is to Earth. The countdown clock is ticking, and every new pulse from the object has the world holding its breath. Experts admit they can't promise the next outburst won't send it straight into the planet's path. Mars is in the crosshairs, and the margin for error is razor thin. With each passing hour, the possibility of a final decisive maneuver looms larger. No one knows what comes next. The fate of Mars, and maybe much more, hangs on the next move. The world is watching, waiting for the signal that will decide everything. On July 1, 2025, astronomers at the ATLAS telescope in Chile detected 3Y slash Atlas, marking only the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed. Within weeks, internal NASA alerts documented unexplained trajectory shifts and precise machine-like carbon dioxide pulses every 17 minutes. Evidence recorded by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and supported by radar data from ESA and revived Arecibo systems. Multiple agencies confirmed a 1,300-foot wide metallic object moving with synchronized escorts on a path bringing it within 1.2 million miles of Mars. Despite over 50 reviewed scientific reports and classified briefings, the source and intent of 3 my atlas remain officially unknown. The September 2, 2025 Project Catapult Summit left world leaders divided, and no consensus exists on how to respond to an engineered visitor from beyond our solar system. What is certain, 3i slash Atlas has forced scientists and governments to confront phenomena never before recorded. As the flyby approaches, humanity faces a test shaped by real data and by questions no one yet can answer.